If you're a man over 30, 40, 50, 60 and beyond, guess what? You need to build muscle. We suffer from what's called sarcopenia, which is a natural loss of muscle. So in this workout today, I'm gonna take you through a muscle building workout where we can build muscle and burn fat. Let's get it going, yeah. Hey guys, Funk Roberts here and welcome to our workout today. Today I'm excited because I'm gonna take you through what I call my total body May Day workout using the metabolic protocol, metabolic resistance training. Because here we're building muscle while we burn fat. And that is so important specifically as we get older because if you're a man in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s and beyond, we're suffering from what's called sarcopenia, which is a natural loss of muscle due to aging. So we have to do everything we can to build muscle while we stay lean, ripped, and, uh, and burn fat. So uh, using metabolic training, using total body workouts three days a week is the perfect way to do that, all right? Back, going back to the old bodybuilding may not work for us as we get older. So today, we've got an awesome workout like I mentioned before, total body workout. We're gonna be using dumbbells, we're gonna be using the metabolic protocol, and there's gonna be 10 exercises, or what I call, five biceps or couplets. Now, this workout again, we're using unilateral training, we're using biceps, we're using combos, we're using the metabolic protocol because I wanna maximize your muscle growth, okay? I wanna maximize the muscle growth. So we're not gonna go too heavy. I've got 20s, I've got 12s, I've got uh, 30s, and how this is broken up, the protocol here, is we're gonna be doing each exercise for 45 seconds of work, followed by 15 seconds rest, uh, and then we're gonna go on to that next couplet, and then we're gonna repeat. So each little couplet or bicep, or, 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 or you know, bi bicep, I guess, is going to, or superset, is going to be four rounds. And then we move on to that next one, okay? So hopefully you've warmed up, make sure that you warm up. And as I mentioned before, before we go, uh, if you need more workouts like this, three workouts, programming, that's designed for you guys, designed for you to build muscle and burn fat, then don't forget to download my app. My app has everything you need. You can do on Apple or on uh, you know, Google, download the app and get immediate access to my workouts, all right? Okay, so let's start off. The first exercise, we're doing squat to reverse lunge to forward lunge. So you're gonna see that there's gonna be some advanced movements here. Um, so if you haven't done this before, this is definitely not the workout to start out with. So I'm gonna start out with my 20 pounds on the right side. We're gonna start off with the right side. So grab your 20 pound dumbbell, right side, squat, right side forward lunge, right side reverse lunge. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. All right, so let's squat first, forward lunge, reverse lunge. Okay, try not to stop in the middle. Squat, forward lunge, push off with that front. Good. So I want you to focus on every movement. Don't rush through each movement, specifically because this is round number one, and those squats are gonna get ugly near the fourth round. Good. So we're overloading one side. The right side's got all the weight. The right side's got all the movement. Down, heels. Good, step forward. I want you to go all the way back, but if you can't, then you can rest in the middle, which looks like this. Oh, which looks like time, time served. All right, we're gonna move to the next, the other side. So I'm only using 20 pounds here. It's the first round. In subsequent rounds, I'm gonna go heavier, right? I'm gonna go heavier. Subsequent workouts, I'm gonna go heavier. All right, let's get this. Let's go, I'm gonna turn this way so you can see. Good, forward lunge, reverse lunge. So one side's gonna always be a little bit wonkier than the other, that's okay. And as you can see, I'm not moving too fast because these are combo movements, as you can see, there's a lot going on, right? Core's gotta be tight, quads engaged, glutes engaged. Down the ground, heels on the ground. Squeeze the glutes at the top of the movement. Good, and then coordination too, right? Specifically as we start to fatigue. Good, all right. If you don't have weight, you could do body weight only, okay. I'm gonna change this up a bit here. No, I'm not, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. We're just gonna add weight. So remember I said, 
We're gonna add weight. That's what we're gonna do now. So I'm gonna grab the 30s and let's go. Now, I'm gonna switch this up a little bit. You can do it this way too. We're gonna goblet squat, right side, right side. Woo. So goblet, you can even go reverse to front and add a twist. Woo. But that, was, that wasn't a good idea. Reverse, forward, twist, there it is. And then push off. So different ways to execute this work, this exercise. We go forward first. There's so many different ways. It doesn't matter. We're using these combo movements like this. It doesn't matter. I also added a little bit of a rotation because we want to move in all the different planes. Well, my quads right now, they're blowing up. Last round, here we go. Down, boom, reverse, forward, stay there, rotate, push off. Good, down, reverse, forward. You gotta keep that core tight throughout that movement. Specifically, when we rotate, ooh, that was ugly. Good, all right, here we go. Make sure those knees are pointed out on the squat. Push off, rotate, boom, push back. Woo. Let's go one more time, guys, let's go. Woo. Good work, all right. Man, quads, blowing up, baby. Quads, okay, we gotta move quickly. So let's get down to the ground. We're gonna do chest press to wide chest to skull crusher. So let's start off with the left because I got the dumbbell here. Up two times. Now we're gonna go wide. Let me move so you guys can see what's happening here. Wide. And then we're gonna do one skull crusher. So two chest press. Focus on the pecs. Two wide. So again, unilateral gives us a different feel. Make sure the elbows and about a 45 degree angle, but on the fly, we wanna try to get to 90, and then keep that elbow pointed forward on the skull crusher. There's a lot going on, as you can see throughout that movement. There's so much happening. When we have the press to wide to the skulls, you know? And then the folks are talking through the whole thing. But I'm just trying to give you guys cues, right? You guys will, can just focus on the movement. Okay, let's go. Two presses. Two wide. Good. And then you can even do two skull, uh, skull crushers, but I'm gonna save that for round number two. Good, let's go wide. You can put your hand anywhere. I like sometimes to have my, uh, my opposite hand, the hand that's not working, right on my pecs so I can really connect that mind to the muscle that's moving. That's what we have to do. And we have to be intentional with every move. My wife would love me for saying that, I think. Intentional mover. That's her thing. We have to be intentional with every single movement. I want you to be focused on every single movement that you do, every exercise. Every time you move that weight, I want you to make it feel like it's super heavy which means you concentrate on the muscle that it's working. Here we go, one, two. Now, the chest press isn't going to be that heavy. Let's go double, there you go. Because the weight you choose is the weight you're gonna use for the skull crusher. I like doing flies on the ground too because it allows me to go heavier. Let's go one more time. Right, it allows me to go heavier because the range of motion is a little bit shorter. So, boom, wide. And then I'm just gonna do a single skull crusher here because, whoo, I felt that last one. Press, good work. Make sure when you're pressing, again, first and foremost, I'm gonna turn here. That elbow is not out here when we're doing our chest press. When we're doing our flies, yes, 
Chest press, it's about a 45 gram, okay? Just remember that. We wanna keep our shoulders safe. One, press straight over the head. And now, we can go a little bit wider with the elbow, because we're doing a fly. And then I'm only gonna go single for this one, because remember, the triceps are being used here, the pecs are being used here, your shoulders are being used here, and of course, you're engaging that core to keep your stability, right? Because unilaterally, as we're working here, our obliques are taking over too. Oof. Good work. Good job. Okay, let's get up and do some bent over rows. So, I'm gonna start with something light right now. We're gonna start on the left side again. We're gonna do bent over row, wide row, and maybe throw something else in. So here, posting up, bent over row, wide row, reverse row. So bent over, regular bent over, wide, reverse. Now, if you've never done one of these variations, then you know what I want you to do? Just do the one you know. Just go pure bent over, pure wide. One, two, three, pure reverse. One, two, three. But keep the elbow tight to the body. See my elbow's tight and I'm rowing back. Three, wide. This way, now I'm going a little bit wide because we're using our rear delts. And here, it just gives those lats a little bit more. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see a little bit different. The wide's not gonna look as well, but again, I start, I'm starting light. Then I'll go a little bit heavier. Everything applies. Back's gotta be straight. Hip hinge back, right hip hinge back. Now my back is nice and straight. One, two, three wide one two three turn reverse keep the elbow tight two three core tight one and roll back by the hips it's almost like a pendulum one two three and then turn back good one this one's a little weird because it's almost like a suitcase row one Two, three, and then reverse it. One, two, ooh. Should have finished that one by my back. I was feeling that in my back. So important to really engage that core. Or you can post up, right? I'm gonna do that in the second time we do this. With my right, I'm gonna post up. So here, I'll show you what that means in a second. Let's go this side here. Okay, roll back. Just focus on good technique here, right? Three, and then pull. Pull right by your belly button. Now again, I'm only using 20 pounds here because of this exercise right here, this one, that pull. I wanna get full range of motion. And I'm doing enough reps to do some damage to the muscle, which is what we wanna do. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, man, that was rough. So I'm gonna move this over. So I'm gonna show you how to post up. I'm gonna do it a little bit of a different way, but just so you can see, I'm gonna do it from the side. One, two, three, one, which is not really doing much. Three, and then internal, one, two, three. But if you were to do it, you could post up like this. One, two, three, row, row wide. One, two, three, and then internal. Same thing, well, let's go back this way now. Regular way, here we go. Let's end off, okay, nice and low, one. It's kind of like a suitcase row, and then wide. This is the one. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. How are you guys feeling? We're moving quickly here. I'm gonna stick with the 20s. We're gonna do some biceps. Start with the left side. Let's get some water. 
because we're not letting our muscles and our body rest as much, we're burning lots of calories. Let's go hammer, hammer, and let's go regular, regular, hammer. Just two things here. Ooh. Good. Remember, this is another pull exercise, and we just did a major pull exercise. Pull. Keep that elbow tight to the body. Squeeze the glutes. Boom. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Man, I'm feeling that. I didn't want to put down those 20s. Same thing. So with this exercise, squeeze those glutes. You want to have a very strong pillar. You want to send a message to the mind that everything's okay. Plus, when we're doing the curl, please make sure you keep your elbows tight to the body. Boom, elbow tight, elbow tight. And then, so right now I'm squeezing my glutes. Glutes are tight, shoulders back. Exhale on the way up, exhale on the way up. Shoulders back, core tight. Ah, good. Ah, whoo, same thing. Ooh. You guys are gonna feel this one. I guarantee it. Keep going. Good work. Okay. Man, I felt that. So I'm gonna keep the 15s just close. Imagine having to use 15s. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the 30s in here too. So I'm gonna start with the 30s until I can't do any more. Then go to the 20s. And then, and then hit up the uh, the fifteens if I need to. One, oh, oh, this is a whole other ball game. One, oh, woo! Keep those elbows tight to the body. Focus on the bicep. I really want you to think about that bicep. Yeah, doing the work. Okay, drop, drop. Think about that bicep. Squeeze the glutes. Shoulders back, shoulders back. Oh, did I even end up with this one last time? Whew. Shake it out, shake it out. Going to 15s now, shoulders back. Man, that couldn't have come any quicker, any faster. So, same thing, shoulders back, glutes tight. And I really want you to focus on that bicep. Think about the bicep doing the work. Okay, think about the bicep doing the work. Back, bicep. Really t keep those elbows tight to the body. Ah, tight to the body. Ah, elbows. Ah, elbows. Ah, yeah. oh, my technique was breaking there for sure. All right, here we go. Shoulders back. Think about, what are you thinking about right now? Oh man. Can barely even pick up that weight. Oh geez, brutal. All right, we are in our last exercise. I'm gonna go really light for this one. Just cause I gotta protect my shoulders. And what did we end off with there? I think we're gonna start off with our left. We're gonna go, let me just show you what we're doing here first. So, side, side, front, front, clean, press, okay? So side, twice, front, twice, then I want you to clean, press, twice if you want, right? So focus, you want that side lateral raise, front's only coming to your eyes and then use a little bit of a hip hinge to help you clean and press, okay? Now when you're doing that side lateral raise, I don't want you to bring the dumbbell to a rest. I want you to keep that tension on. Good work, good work. Whew. So same thing, I'm using a very light weight because remember, with the total body workout, that means we're, we've been using our entire body. 
right, with a lot of other exercises. The shoulders were used when we did chest press and even the bicep curls and even the rows. So the last thing we wanna do is injure our shoulder. We never wanna do that. So right now, this is almost like, ooh, I'm gonna go one on that side. Auxiliary work, you know what I mean? Here, right there. And then clean and press. That's more of an explosive movement. Remember, with this side lateral raise, which I'll get to in a second, I want you to raise with the dumbbell with your thumb up. That protects the elbow. Good. Specifically if you're using heavier weight, you wanna just kinda, just a slight, so because you, you don't want this. You don't wanna break your wrist when you're doing any of these exercises. You wanna keep everything straight, right? Like, a, like you're throwing a punch, everything comes straight. You don't break your wrist. Okay, let's go again. I'm gonna move up to 10. Side. Also, shoulders back on that one as well. And let's clean and press. Good. Even if it's lightweight, treat it like it's very heavy. No momentum. Now, momentum. Let's do twice. Okay, no momentum here. Focus on the side delts and focus on the front delts. So it's, that's the only thing that's being worked. Now, the entire body. Swing. Good work. Last exercise. So as I was mentioning before, these type of workouts, you would do three times a week. Not this exact workout, you would repeat this workout next week, the week after, the week after that, just to see your, uh, your progression. But you'd have two other workouts with different exercises, obviously, but still hitting the entire body. And if you need stuff like that, then make sure you download my app. Download the Funk Fitness Shred app. I have 28 day programs and guess what? They're all follow along workouts, just like this one. Every single workout. You don't have to worry about these short little demos. These are all follow along because I'm there to coach you. I'm there to train with you. I'm there to sweat with you and I'm there to suffer with you. <laughs> and you can see realistically what these workouts are like. Even for me, the Funkster, 53 and still going. There you go, guys. Good work. Give me those knucks. Give me those knucks. You are awesome. And I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here in this workout. Now, let's break a few things down. Number one, I mentioned before, you need programming. If you're a man in your late 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s, you need a program. A 28-day program that is lined perfectly. It's got warm-ups, it's got a workout, it has stretch afterwards, abs, and then it has some recovery because we need programming to help us build muscle while we lose fat, naturally increase our testosterone levels, and get into amazing, amazing shape, increase strength as we get older. So download my Funk Fitness Shred app, download that. Go to Apple, go to Google Play, wherever you have to go, download it, get 14 days for free. On another note, I love you guys. Please comment below, and again, Three workouts a week, just like this one. Follow along workouts and hit your total body. I love you, I just lost, lost my mind there. I didn't know what I was gonna say. Well, a loss for words? Yeah, well, I just went through a workout. Anyways, make sure you stretch after. Make sure you do some abs too. Make sure you eat. I love you so much. I'm the Funkster and I'll see you in the next workout. Get it done. Hey, it's Funk Roberts here. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you liked it. In fact, I hope you loved it, and I hope you learned something from that video. Please show me some love and like this, share this, leave your comments below because you know I love that those comments, and if you like that workout, click that button right there, and it'll take you to the next workout. I'm the Funkster, and I'll see you on the other side. Get it done. Ah.